So in this case, we don't know how many are there in the, other, in the other species. I will again show you how to take the cross section and look up in a bigger picture, uh, taking a bigger picture from the, the microscope. Let's cut the two ovaries here. From the two flowers we were trying to dissect. So we've got the two ovaries here. Let me clear up everything except the two ovaries. Now we can see the all the parts. Uh, that's the ovary. Style, simple stigma. I'm going to cut that one across to see how many chambers are there. All right. Looking at one side and right. So now I need to turn this one around. This is the mature mature flower. These are the sepals. One, so it's got three plus two sepals. And now I'm going to cut it open. Right. And then I've got the other portion. So now I've taken the cross section. So there is only one chamber. Most likely that there is only one chamber there. That's the one. So that's the information we collected. It's got a five sepals, five petals, ten stamens, five are small, five are large, and a superior ovary. And uh, the petals are of similar size and shape. And then it has got one chamber. It wasn't very clear. Looks like there is only one chamber. So that's the information we must collect when you dissect the flower. This information is more than enough. Sometimes it is best to show this in a, in a diagrammatic manner. I'll show you how to do that. Same thing can be drawn. So this information can be written in a diagrammatic manner. To do that, just draw four, five circles like that, roughly, very fainted circles, right? And each circle represents one. For example, the sepals represents here. Now we know that there are five sepals. Five sepals are written like this. One, two, three, four, five. Right? I think the shape should be smoother, smoother. One, like that. The other one is smoother shape like that. That is the, for the sepal. And then, because I put the line here, and because they're at the base, they are united, connect them, connect them. And then the next one is the petals. Petals were clearly free. So again, there were five petals, one, two, three, four, five. And the petals with the triangular shape. So the petals are represented with a triangular shape like that. And the sepals are represented with a smoother, smoother shape like this. It's not very clear. So this is petal, this is sepal. So now one, two, 
three, four, five petals. We knew that the petals were very free, easy to remove, so that's why you shouldn't have that connection there. You need to erase it, but because I'm using the pencil, pen, so I'm just sort of uh, cancelling it. So th that connection shouldn't be there because they're all free. Next, uh, next one, we have the anthers. And uh, the anthers, there were eight of them, or ten of them. One, two, three, four, five. They're larger ones. Use the eight shaped at the top. Right, one, two, three, four, five, and then five smaller ones. Right, so these are the anthers. And this, you call that as the, the ovary. That is the ovary. And inside, you have one chamber maybe seed is located here, right? That's what we saw. One chamber, that is the ovary, and the entire thing is the ovary with the one chamber, and then uh, 10 stamens, and the five uh, petals, and the five sepals. To do that in a simple way, this is the ovary, then we got the three, four, five stamens. Then again, another five of them, smaller one. Right, and there is one seed there. And then there are five petals because And then there are five sepals. Not very good at drawing instantly like that. Sorry, yeah. So now, now we have, right. Okay, sepals, petals, stamens, ovary, and then ovule or seed, right? Now it is nicely represented. What we collected here has been represented using the, the back, background sketch. Without the sketch, this is how you have written. And then if the, the, the sepals are connected, then after that you need to connect them like that, if they are united. Definitely the petals were not united, they were separate the sepals were united, that's why you just connect them with a line like that. So that's the floral diagram.